We all see that? Mm-hmm. You already know what I'm about to make. Let's go toast some Texas toast. I'll be right back. Now, I, I think some places, I think a couple of people told me that they do not have Texas toast in their town. It's just thick bread. Um, some stores have plenty of it. Uh, like my store, they might have five loaves at one time of it, which I, I don't know why. I mean, I love this. And, you know, anybody who loves a BLT likes this nice thick bread. Anyway, I'm going to stick this in the oven on broil for... I don't know, one minute. Not trying to get it, you know, really brown. I just want the outside a little bit crunchy. Y'all, I'm so excited for this. This right here is my last tomato for probably, I'd say about six weeks because it's so hot. Now, while a few of my tomato plants do still have some flowers on them, or actually some just sprouted in the last week uh yeah it'll be at least six weeks it's, it's you know i think today we hit 102 tomorrow will be 104 the next day 101 next 101 and uh you see the pattern there so it's too hot anyway i left this tomato on until this morning that's got one little spot right here that's not quite right and we don't care we're going to cut that off because all this is right and I'm afraid if I left it one more day, I've already had a bird try to bite into it. If I left it another day, they would destroy it. So, we're fixing to eat this sucker. Texas toast. My favorite for one of these sandwiches. Now, I considered... It's so hot, I'm going to wipe my plate off. Steaming. Now, I considered running to town to grab some lettuce because uh, you cannot grow lettuce here in summer. Uh, you can barely grow lettuce here in the spring. Now, I could grow it in the fall. I could plant some, say, in the next month. Um, but there's no hope of growing any here in the summer. It's, it's, it's too hot in the spring, honestly, for lettuce. So, I'm a blue plate girl or Hillman's. I don't care. And we're going to put mayonnaise. I'm so excited for this sandwich. I know I sound like a giddy kid, but... I don't know about y'all, but... You know, that very first tomato sandwich, you know, when you... Um, whether, whether you get it on the side of the road, whether you get it at a stand, a farmer's market, or you grow it yourself, that first tomato sandwich every year is, I don't know, it's magical. And, uh, it's kind of the same for the last. Now, while this is not my last, it is going to be my last for, like I said, at least six weeks. Now, I'll, I'll have, um, I'll continue to grow tomatoes till about mid-November before we get our first frost, which will, you know, kill my plants off. So, let's see. I'm going to cut around this. And if it's a little green, I, I mean, I honestly don't care. It will be just fine. It's still going to taste delicious. Throw that out my back door. I don't want to put it in a trash can. I'm sure some critters would like to eat it. Now then. I cut the little green spot off. Now if you've never had a yellow tomato... I encourage y'all to try them. They are so good on sandwiches. Now this is supposed to be called KBX. Um, it's the potato leaf version of the Kellogg's breakfast. However, the plant that I have is not potato leaf, which means that this is Kellogg's breakfast tomato.
and it's delicious. As you can see, we're loading this sucker down. Now that salt, got to have salt on my tomato. Pepper. Oh, I mean, I could eat it just like this. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. But I needed some bacon grease, and of course, that's the excuse for me to have some bacon. <laughs> Baked in the oven, perfectly crispy. Turn that one that way, and and I feel like it needs at least one more piece. What y'all think? Looks beautiful to me. Here we go, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Tasty of bacon. I think I missed it. I won't miss it on this next bite. Mmm. Oh. Oh my gosh. y'all that is just as good now as it was months ago that tomato has some juice but it's thick I mean it's, it's the perfect tomato for a BLT or just a bacon and tomato like this one Mm. Nothing beats that sandwich right there. Not for me. It's. <laughs> I wait for this every year because I can only get it, you know, in certain months. And uh, I savor it as much this time as I did. The first time back in June. Delicious. Go have y'all a tomato and bacon sandwich. Mm. Don't forget the mayo, salt, and pepper. See y'all later.